puddings, pies and stripy socks are put to a rather different use now on to with King Green Fingers. In the palace of Puddle Brook, there's a green fingered king. He's called King Green Fingers because his plants grow so fine. King Green Fingers was searching in all the cupboards and drawers in the palace. Has anyone seen my large stripy socks? he asked. I need one of them to hang up for Father Christmas. There's far too much to do before we think about hanging stockings up said the Queen Climbing Rose from the kitchen. There's the palace to decorate, the puddings and pies to mix, and the spare room to prepare for Queen Hollyhock. Queen Hollyhock was the King's favourite aunt. She lived on the island of Artichokia, and she was coming for Christmas. Princess Potted Palm said she would help with the puddings and pies. Queen Climbing Rose said she would sort out the decorations if Green Fingers would climb into the loft and bring them down. King Greenfingers fetched a ladder and a torch and climbed into the loft for the decorations. <laughs> it's very dusty up here, he called down. Ah, here's the box. Oh dear, someone has left the lid off. He passed the box to Potted Palm, who took it to the Queen. She looked inside with dismay. Oh, they're all dusty, she said. And dingy said the king, shaking the dust from his robes. And eaten by a mouse, I think, said Princess Potted Palm, bringing out a shredded Christmas tree fairy. We can't possibly use these, wailed the queen. And the palace won't look Christmassy without decorations. We'll buy some more, said the king. And he and Potted Palm rang all the shops in Puddlebrook. Sorry, Your Majesty, everyone said. We're completely sold out. Where to do? asked the queen. That afternoon, a message was delivered to the palace. It was from Aunt Hollyhock in Artichokia. Green Fingers read it. Weather conditions appalling in Artichokia. Cannot make it for Christmas. See you New Year. Have good time. H. H. Christmas won't be the same without Hollyhock, said Green Fingers sadly. Or oh, decorations! said Queen Climbing Rose. Princess Potted Palm thought hard. Surely there was something they could do. Can we bring a fir tree in? she asked the king. I suppose so, said the king. But it will look a bit bare. The princess found some old, brightly coloured seed catalogues. They cut them into strips and made paper chains to hang on the tree. King Greenfingers stretched garden string across the parlour and hung evergreens over it. He found some red rosy apples and dangled them from the greenery. He draped a string of onions down one window and added the odd carrot here and there to give a dash of colour. The Queen discovered some Christmas roses flowering by the palace wall and brought a few in to brighten up the window sills. Then, gathering together oranges, pears and bananas, she made a holly and fruit arrangement for the dining table. Everything was beginning to look festive. Princess Potted Palm looked in her box of useful things that she had collected during the autumn. She picked out a pine cone, a large acorn, and some sycamore seed pods. She drew a face on the acorn and stuck it on top of the pine cone. Then she took the biggest seed pod and made some wings. She placed the pine cone fairy on top of the fir tree, much to the Queen's delight. Oh, it's lovely, she smiled, cheering up. We just need someone to share it all with now. How sad that Aunt Hollyhock won't be here. I know someone who would love to share it, said the king, going out to the potting shed. Only King Greenfingers knew about King Henry, who wandered the highways. When his kingdom became a bit chilly in winter, Greenfingers let him sleep in the potting shed. He was in there now, for Greenfingers could hear him snoring. His battered old hat was over his eyes, and his feet were peeping out of his tatty shoes. Wake up, Henry! We need you to share Christmas. There are puddings and pies and decorations. You can even hang up your stock. He was about to say stocking when he looked down at Henry's feet. So that's what's happened to my stripy socks. I quite forgot that I gave them to you last winter. And very cosy they are too, said Henry gratefully. If you like, I'll lend you one to hang up on Christmas Eve. Green fingers beamed. Come and meet the Queen, he invited. This is going to be a good Christmas after all.